Let's try save some time and complete Resident Evil 7 with Ender Pearls. Okay, everyone hates this part of the game, the guest house. This is really, really annoying to repeat over and over again, so we're going to use our first Ender Pearl right here. And how am I going to. I'm trying to think where to throw it so I can save time. Oh, I've got an idea actually. I'm going to walk walk over here a little bit, aim in the sky, and aim it properly. Uh, that should be good. Okay, I'm ready to throw it now. That was a good throw, I made it here. And saved us a little bit of time. Uh, I need to fast forward the rest because we have to play this bit properly. So let me just skip this. So I made it here. Uh, Unfortunately for this bit, you can't break the windows. See these windows here? If I could shoot it and make a hole in it, then I would be able to throw an ender pearl in the gap and skip this entire area, skip that free doghead door. Unfortunately, that's not possible. So I'm just gonna have to go upstairs and, oh, look at this. Uh, there's quite a lot of gaps over here on the balcony area. So I just need to find a nice big gap here. Ignore that marguerite thing. Uh, aim in a good place. I'll aim up high. I'll ch try to take a gamble and see if the ender pearl actually lands somewhere. Okay, I'm ready. Wow, pretty good shot. We actually landed on the bridge thing. Otherwise, we'd land in the water and the game would crash. But luckily for us, that didn't happen. I skipped the boring bits. All we need in this area is the D series arm. We also need the D-series head, which we'll get later. If we don't get these two items, then the game will crash. So now's the time to get the D-series arm. Once that's all done and we beat Marguerite, then Lucas will make us use the red card key and the blue card key. To, and that takes freaking ages to get. So instead, we're not going to do that. We're just going to aim up and try to skip getting the snake key, uh, blue card key, red card key, all that crap. So let's aim up and throw. Where are we now? Oh wow, we actually made it pretty far into the game. Oh shoot, okay. I landed here, which is quite a pity because I don't have the crank. The crank was in the marguerite area. Uh, so, well I, at least I can get the D-series head. The D-Series head is located over here, next to the CRT. So let's get that now, right here. There's a D-Series head. We'll need this. Main item. So how am I going to uh, get past that crank area? Um, let me try to figure this out. Oh, I got an idea. Uh, since I can't use the crank to get the bridge out, uh, what I'll do is I'll just throw another ender pearl. And I'm just gonna aim somewhere there. I, I want to try get there. That's a good spot. Aim up and throw it. Oops, I wasn't meant to shoot, but did I do it? Oh, I did. Okay, that's good. So, the game wants us to use the crank again to, so that we can get the other bridge and walk over it. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna throw another ender pearl and. I'm going to look for a good spot. Can I throw it there? Nah. And I might cause out of bounds issues. So I'm just gonna stick to the route and aim next to that door because that's where we need to go. Okay, I did it, but huh? what happened to the sound? Mm, must have glitched a little bit because ender pearls aren't the natural way to play the game. Hopefully the sound comes back. How's it going, guys? So we actually managed to make it to Zoe and Mia and the sound is back so good news and I played it safe because I think I need to beat Jack Baker so that the story maintains its you know original path because we need to use one of the uh, one of the serums on Jack and if I skip this fight then the game might crash in the future so I'm just gonna do this fight like night like you normally would so just bear with me please okay the fight is done and i was 
I was quite tempted to not trigger this cutscene and just sort of look towards the left and not save I not save Mia. And I just wanted to throw a ender pearl as far as I could and see if I could throw it far enough to where the boat was. But I played it safe and yeah, I saved Mia and I just wanna play it safe in case the game crashes. So here we are. That's the boat. Unfortunately, you can't throw an ender pearl here because we're in a cutscene. Okay, here we are. Uh, personally, in my opinion, I hate the boat part, the ship part. I absolutely hate it. And I'm going to look for a shortcut we can use right now. I'm just gonna play it lucky and aim in the sky somewhere up there. I, I have no idea if this will work, but let's give it a go. Um, yeah, that looks like a good angle. I'm just gonna throw it. Three, two, one. Actually, bad idea. That that looks like it's gonna fall in water or something. So let me turn a little bit. Yeah, I think that's better. Yay, we managed to skip a little bit. Oh, <laughs> there was the place we threw the ender pearl. Alright, so unfortunately there's probably no other places we can use an ender pearl. So I'm gonna have to do quite a lot of the boat section, you know, in the way you should. So let me just skip all that boring crap. Alright, so I made it to this bit, and if I remember correctly, Eevee will tell you to watch this really long uh, videotape, and I do not want to watch that. So I'm going to try and look for a way to skip this. There's no gap underneath that door, otherwise I would throw an ender pole underneath the gap. Oh, so it does look like we have to watch this long ass videotape. Uh, could there be another way? I'm gonna try go to the fourth floor and see what's up there. So walk out these stairs, and oh look, there's a little gap. That's a good spot actually. I'm gonna throw throw ender pole here and bypass the VHS tape thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Job done. We made it past the gap. Skip the VHS tape. Well, since we're on the fourth floor, then uh, yeah, I guess we sort of skipped it. We we're still Mia. We don't play as the VHS character. We don't see Alan or anything, so we just need to go to the captain's cabin, get this thing, repair the elevator, and yeah, we managed to skip the VHS tape, so I'm happy with that. No, I wish we could throw an ender pearl here and see what would happen, but I'm afraid it will crash the game. All this is out of bounds. Ethan does not go here. Where Ethan needs to go is on the opposite side of the ship, so... I'll just continue doing my thing. Now at this part of the game, no more playing as Mia. We are now playing as Ethan. And I'll just get my pistol and saw, circular saw, handgun in the iron box. And I'll pick up this grenade launcher as well. Okay, very important. I did not use any ender pearls up until this part of the game. Because right here is our opportunity to make the anti EV item thing. So, if I were to use ender pearls and bypass this bit, then how would we defeat Eevee, right? Yeah, exactly. Walking in this water will take ages, so I'll just skip this. Nice. And now, a really easy part of the game. We don't have to walk up the spiral thing over and over, so I'm going to try and skip this as well just got to be careful I don't land on any moldeds otherwise it might crash the game whoa okay good wasn't really much of a challenge to be honest and they say this area here the two fat moldeds next to this ladder they say it's really difficult and well it is but not if you have ender pearls so I'm just gonna consider gravity right now mm, that's a good that's a good angle a little bit yeah that's fine I'm kind of getting a bit bored of this now so good thing we're at the end of the game we can skip this long cutscene by right here there's a cutscene if I were to take one more step I'll be in the cutscene 
But instead, I can throw an Ender Pearl just past Eevee. Let me aim it like that and skip the cutscene. Oh, I actually made it right next to the wall because the Ender Pearl hit the wall, and it was a good thing I didn't go out of bounds, so lucky there. And I think we're done. This is the last time we'll be using the Ender Pearl right here. And now we're done. It only takes 10 minutes to play Resident Evil 7 with Ender Pearls, so I enjoyed it, nice and short.